I'm going to be painting this canvas here that was started by Yaakov Healing Arts. If you saw the previous videos, there was a sketch, and the sketch had various positive words and symbols that mean things to different people. And if you're open mind, higher consciousness, you can go and see, and you might even feel them vibrate through this painting. There is also painting on the other side. And what he did to prep this was put it under a flame, over a flame, and we call this fire art. This is the flame that we always have burning when we paint. Whether we burn our paintings with the fire using the burnout, the smoke, the way that the flame marks the sheet, it doesn't burn through it, but it burns a picture on it. So that process was shown to you. Again, we always have this flowing as fire is the energy of creation. It always flows. It's for anyone who views this to also get inspired. These are energy paintings that are embedded with healing vibration. And as you see us watch these, we paint these, we also see this transform before our very eyes. And this can mean something for everyone. So I'm going to start again here after the process was completed on it. So this is just one side because I'm going to go back to the other side and complete that. And there were many colors inside of this. There were many dimensions that led it to this point. So again, we thank you for watching. I'm OAT, Olivia, and I'm here to just share the creativity inside that flows. And it's also the same thing that everyone can connect to. People say healing, people say miraculous, miracles, attraction, love. It's all coming from the same thing. How are you going to live your life? What do you want to do? There's one painting here, that's the Miracle Prayer. One of Yaakov's pieces from a few years ago that has been working its magic in our home. And it's amazing. This is a collaboration piece with Yaakov Healing Art. You can see more of the work on the social medias and on YouTube. The process of this video. It's surely an honor to work together and share the creative flow. Thanks again for joining. So that spark, creation, big bang, whatever you want to call it, is something that once you name it, it loses its name. So when we do the fire art, it really goes deep into your soul, your resonation, and you can't get color the way we get the color because it's burned. To a certain, you have to really know what you're doing because that's canvas. And what I noticed with this painting too, as you saw the layers of the pen, and the blank canvas and the different mediums. These shades of black aren't really black. They're just different dark colors. That's not really the darkness, it's beautiful colors. It's also inside behind this. So these colors that we get in this, it's very hard to replicate it. But if you're an artist, just like every single person is, it's not really to replicate it. So you get the inspiration so you can do whatever you want with it, whether you paint, or you sing, or you have a brand new idea for a business. It's, it goes either way, any direction. You can see here, there's a little bit of a galaxy theme. That's pretty, it just came out. And as we do this, we're gonna layer it. And it's cool how there's something on the other side too. We're gonna show that later in the video because I'm gonna work a little more on the other side and see what the painting says. And the same techniques on this side are used on the other side. So if you're going to want this, our prints are starting at $1,300 for the print. If you want the original piece, the bidding starts off at 
$2,600 and up. Okay? Pay attention to that because that's an original piece. This takes a long time. There's work that we do in between. And you cannot get these pieces anywhere. No one can duplicate our art. You cannot mix these colors the way we do because we use our fire art. The medium. So we put the elements into the painting, whether we're putting the dirt or embedding the gemstones. That's another part of earth art that we do because we do the elemental energy art where the fire that came out of this, the fire that's always burning here, is what inspired the transformation inside this painting. Now, it's a theme of some sort of galactic galaxy, nebula, supernova, star cluster, whatever you really wanna say, but it's also abstract where you can kind of see faces in this, you might see shapes and animals, whatever is relevant to you, because that's the real essence of the healing art. It's going to talk to you in whichever way that you need it. It might not be seen at first, right? But it's like magic. You uncover it, and it's not magic that can harm you. It's something that's inside of you. So some people might be like, oh, there's a lot of darkness around here, but these colors here... If you look really closely and you get the healing from it and you really feel it, it's every single color in the spectrum coming out through that. Right, because if you look at space, there's that darkness, and that darkness is where all the healing is. And uh, most of you that do metaphysical are just on this one little game of what you think because you heard it from Nana and Papa somewhere and uh, Mrs. Jones that works at uh, Walmart. Now, that's not being rude, but that's where you are. Maybe you're a churchgoer. Maybe you're this, you're that. So then you're judging. So in our paintings, we go to a happy world. So what we're really doing is dimensionally, galactically, cosmically clearing your past and your future in a present moment of God. And this is what you get. And um, as we were doing this painting in the beginning, Yaakov was like, do you see the face inside of that? It is what some people say is God. Because, you know, the archetype of what people see as God is like someone with a beard that's in the sky, that is celestial, that speaks, that has whatever, a family, a son, a offspring, all these things. But we have to understand the stories. And the stories really just mean that this is a reflection of you because you are a reflection of God. And it's, yes, it's God because someone has come before you. But it's also the God inside of you that shines through your deeds and your actions. What kind of God are you? Are you an angry God? Are you a vengeful God? Are you a God that likes to talk to the plants and flowers? Or are you a God that rules the underworld because you're so caught up in this thing called death and life in this game, this circle? So it's just with different ways you can think about things. This is what the healing art is all about, changing your perception and then your perspective on life changes. And if you can unite with people that can understand different thought processes, sometimes that's astounding when you can find that community or even that person on the side of the road that maybe you see all the time and then there's similarities. It's seeing yourself inside of everyone. So uh, a lot of students ask me at one point in time and ask Olivia, what religion would you say, and I would say, if I were to name one, I would curse myself. Therefore, I am that in which it is. I am no religion, but I am all religions. I am no part of a healer, but the essence of that, that comes from the gift, is what we teach our students. So when you 
come for training, it you never really leave the the physical teacher. People think you do. Uh, because only a few can stay and go all their naughties. Okay? So uh, when you look at life, you start to realize that, well, what was before Jesus? What was the, what was it Roman Catholic? We released a lot of videos, different things, people shun it, but it's true fact. And have you ever studied religion? Did you know at one time the Catholic Pope, uh, when the Jewish people called and said that they were killed in children, they said, well, we hope that uh, the children die. Like, are you serious? You serious? And, and, and we're celebrating this part. Now, we just opened again, and I'm going to blow the holy candle smoke I'm going to try to push it there you go just opened up so everyone that viewed here many blessings of course feel it inside of you watch the laying of the stars the galaxies the essences that are inside and we're just going to let this sit for a couple seconds and let, let it take form it's funny how the processes of drying and then coming back to life and then all of this stuff really just added to the whole essence of what it meant to see into the universe, to see into the universe inside of you. So that's you. Breathe into that. Stop your driving. Breathe. And keep looking at it. Don't close your eyes. Tongue to roof of mouth. Back erect. Breathe in, breathe out. Don't do nothing. Who cares? You're worried about your mother, your dad, your this, the that. You're cheating. You're this. You're a horrible mate. You 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 stole. Get rid of that. Leave your shoes at the door. But no. Leave your shoes. Of course, you must at the door. Because you must shake that and enter a house in pureness. For thou art that in which it is, so therefore I am that, and I call upon the manifestation and the part that just is. What was it before someone said manifestation? Was it a different language or was it just a sound? Like they say, the ohm of the universe vibrates. That's also a part of what's inside of here. Because you have the universe inside of you. Everyone that thinks that they have to go outward to find something, whether it's love or change or adventure or anything, because there's something inside that's not correct with who you truly are right at this moment. So there's a big, wonderful universe out there. And again, the processes are that we just let this dry and we allow Sacred the flame, flame to let the fire, because fire has so many uses. It's beautiful, right? And we are outdoors, inside, but outdoors. And there's open windows. And there's a certain type of candle we burn. That's why you would see a little black smoke. But it's pure. I'm not going to tell you what it is. See it. Let it come alive. Let it come alive. Yeah. Fire the fire, ashes, dust, touch the dust. <laughs> There's always a must. Oh, thou shalt not lust. Why do you covet thy neighbor's wife? Or why do you covet thy neighbor's husband? That is you. Why do you covet anything of your neighbor? Their belongings, their children, their life. 
what's the whole point of this thing that we call anger? Negativity throughout the universe. So all you people that have been asking for healing, we're giving back to the universe. But you gotta get back to us. We're all one family. We're all one family. We will not go towards a newspaper, this or that, or whatever you think it is. We will not wear your suit. We will not do this, but we will wear it when we want. There are all different roles inside of life, but there's so much strife. I wish I understood. Oh, wow, you wish you could. The little train that went put put. Oh man, there goes my soot soot on those clothes. Hang them, wash them, dry them, bleach them. Don't bleach them. Use the right bleach. Oh, now you're acting like I'm such a leech. Where, 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 where is this magic, magic bleach? Oh, little boy, oh, little boy, you're such a leech. I told you, you suck it like a vampire. Step back, step back. Enjoy the light. May the flame become out of sight. So if you know true magic, then that is exactly what it is. You can't really say it's good or bad. Who is anyone to judge once you put a label on it? That's just what's reflecting inside of you. It might be fear or it might be pure power, however you want to do it. Some people that are going through all this stuff too, all they want is the power. All they want is to be something that they're not because they think that they don't have it, but it's really deep inside because you have it every time. For all you cheaters out there. For all your liars out there. For all you swindlers out there. For you, who cares? We love you. Doesn't matter what you think, our world is totally different. You wanna train, you train the right way. You earn your steps. So this is an essence into our world. You're taking a step into the world that we created that was a combination of all the elements and fire being very prominent, but we took something else, like a sacred geometry the power of the ether, the power of the void, because what else is left when you're just left with inspiration? And we got something special. After this, if you're watching us, you're going to see Master Shane on some ancient technique in a video with some music to go along with this. And we're giving this free to the world. Why? because a lot of people have pains in their back. And everyone thinks you need to get a surgery, you need to go to PT, physical therapy, you need to eat different. Yes, you need to eat different, obviously, but most of you need to sleep in different positions inside. And this is what inside of your back, like again, actually, when I look at this, what does this look like? It's like a formation of a spine, the curvature, a lot of you have issues like scoliosis and deformities and maybe even some cysts that are finding their way to sticking on your body, sticking on your bones. So when we see Master Shane's video, we're gonna pair it with this, add a little Ho'oponopono flair, because a lot of you gotta get that data cleared and allow pure universal essence vibration clean to come in and it's pure. Shout out to Joe Vitale. We love you. We love you. And we're certified passing it on to everyone. As you know, it's the way we roll in a good way. You know who we follow. You know who the, the message that we listen to and like. So you'll just see a different compilation of this through What's the Gift? Painting, art, creating, and music, production. Because life is too short to waste your gifts. And I think a lot of people need to be put in a direction that, I don't know, you find what you want to do in life and you do it for as long as you want. Things change over time. The galaxies you're seeing in the sky are not the same as they are now. But really, what is now? 
Let's transform to the other side because this was a glimpse into our world and this is a both-sided painting wow. because Yaakov painted the inspiration through this and then we go and we um, alter it, but we are adding layers. Like I said, the techniques on the front are the same and very similar to the techniques that are used on the back. So I aspire for other artists, again, to watch these. And of course, that's how I learned to paint too. That's how Yako gets his inspiration. Other people provide it. But also your own talent hones the message of who you truly are. So clouds. And this color is beautiful because it looks like it's a mixture of the green, the yellow, the blues. And let's just see where this goes. Very beautiful. It's a whole different tune than the one on the front. But we're keeping this in the same video because you got to see the whole transformation. And the 3D effect is also pretty cool. It reminds me of one of those paintings that you have that they blend into the background. Now remember guys, this is the back of the canvas. Who would ever thought? You got your own frame. That's why this is worth so much money. And for all you artists out there, train with us and they will know your name. And when we say train, you know, it's like anyone that has mentorship in an arts. Every person is the art. You are the vehicle, the vessel for the creative flow. So it's not about being the same. It's about techniques that are known to everyone, but every person puts their own inspiration in it. And the only thing you can say that creation just happens. The minute someone stops creating, or so they think they stop creating, the only person that's going to really say something about it is them, inside of them, what that meant when the creation stopped. I'm not saying it doesn't matter to anyone else because people have their own likes of what they see and they get inspired from seeing other people create. So it's just a journey inside. I love you. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I'm sorry if I've said anything to harm anyone or hurt anyone in this lifetime. I feel like life is like watching clouds go by too, like meditation, they say. So let's give some uh, blessings to the world as uh, we know that we're here. And uh, let's look at this. Imagine this was heaven on earth. Imagine. Air and earth. What happened if we painted creation and it's only one particle of it? Now someone else can paint the dark or someone else can rob someone or someone else can cheat someone, someone else can do that. The only one that really knows is you. So yes, you do have a choice, light or dark. Mm, yes. And at the end of the day, everybody has a dark side. Because all you churchgoers and all that, many blessings, but at the end of the day, it's all love. So cherish, perish, give, teach. Love. Love. A lot of you have anger, greed, jealousy, and hatred, all disguised as God. And that's a disgrace. But anybody could think anything they want, you know, because... Uh, we teach an ancient practice of alchemy, and the only ones that know the system that can really identify it is Master Shane. Documented for over 11 years. And we give honor to him with healing, holistic being temple, and just the trials and tribulations someone goes through in life. And uh, you're going to see the video of him performing. And you're going to reach out to Master Shane. You're going to tell him you want to book a session with uh, me and Olivia. Dr. Yaakov, Dr. John, whatever you want to call it. If you're a hater, keep hating. Go hate more. Who cares?
you can see more information about the work that we do. And I just say work because that's what people become accustomed to when it's something they work on, when it's something they work on, when it's something they strive. But it's not work, it is, it's work for humanity, but it's not something that has a negative connotation, is what I'm trying to say. So if you were to end the healing in a good note and you turn around and you tell someone, okay, you know what? You're this, you're that, you blah, blah, blah. That's beautiful. Right, let's, let's beautiful, let's take a note. Were you an immaculate conception, yes or no? Come on, tell me, if you were, we're gonna get documentation. Now, if you, were, if you were born in a test tube, we give it to you because that's something very intense. Yeah, that's, but we haven't that's, encountered that yet. That's that's or have some we? that's some deep stuff. But uh, let's say okay, so you weren't. So now Jesus's time, Joseph's time. Were they really talking the way you think they did? And the verses that you're reading, are they really, really right? And if you do research, you have to know every religion. But the essence of every one, otherwise you're lost. That's why there's some big, people tell me I'm like the biggest energy specialist there. So I say, ah, anybody can learn it, that's it, but it takes years comes natural to me. It's the will for someone to learn it because again, faculties that are, people say healing, gifts, clairvoyant, clairvoyant premonitions, the minute telekinetic, you, the, all of these things inside the, minute, the brain. The minute, the minute, the minute, the minute, you hear that? Repeat, repeat, repeat. Yeah, see that? That's your brain, it's skipping. Because you got a bunch of nonsense. So the next question, huh? I'm skipping all over your mind, running through your channels. Your left, your right, your up, down, middle line. Woo! Out the head. Amen. Amen. But amen, you got to understand what, what amen mean? meant. <laughs> What's the real meaning of amen? Go ahead. Tell me. Someone out there, write it. Who knows it? Who knows it? Who knows the truth? According to what they say. Remember this, guys. According to what people say. So if your mama and dad, dad do real good and they're $200,000 a year and they make this and they do that, inside, mom and dad sleeping in the same bed, mom and dad eat dinner, mom and dad go out, or are they slaves? To their children and everything else. Are they? If they are, that means that uh, when you look at our system, you're going to hear our system. So analytically, when you look at someone's relationship, you're looking at the outer cover-up. I hope everybody understands that. You're looking at the outer cover-up. Which is the way that people want you to perceive them. So, is it always true? You, you have to look at it from different perspectives to determine that. So you have to be able to go in neutrally mm, yes. and look at them. And whether you think it's right or wrong, you just observe. That's the real spy, the real, the real um, healer. Because the, that healer has to forgive themselves and love themselves, not to react to yourself, not for you to provoke them, not for you to access the seven deadly sins. See, this might be too deep for some of you. You don't understand that. Our students learn this in a couple months and their intelligence goes through the roof. All our students are authors, musicians, everything else. No matter what someone called them, bipolar, this, that, they change their life. It's their calling is what it is. 
No one called them except for what's inside of them reaching out. And some people perceive it as a call from the universe, something very magical and esoteric and metaphysical. But it's really just, not really us, but them unlocking the magic that's inside of them. So that's why it comes out so creatively. So because most creative people at one point in time go through a lot of hardship so they can express their creations and get different ways to express their creations. Good. But if you're lying to yourself, which most of you do, and that's where you're open to all energy. So you see, because energy is neither good nor bad. And how is it received and then perceived by the entity that is displaying it? But who's in control of that? Is that too deep for you? Some of you might have been triggered by some words. Some of you might have been so emotional. Entity is this evil. Oh my God, people, what does that mean? is that black magic, voodoo, santeria? Call the Pope. Call the Pope. Phone the Vatican. What's going on, really? What's going on? Let us see the books. Come on. Now, come on, bring them out. Your family got this. Come on, guys. You know, we also add a little comedy into our skits. Because <laughs> you always have to laugh. You always got to laugh. And, and the funny thing is that we'll talk about real life. So the next thing is... Uh, the next understanding is, so, who told you that that was right? According to who? I think Gary B says it real good. Yeah, he's on a big compassion wave. That's very respectable. Yes. Because that's great. Yeah, you must teach people by the masses positivity and how you think and not just doing things for the gain of it but doing things to really change hearts and Gary V's changed our hearts so congrats. yeah Thank Gary you. what a good, we great love guy listening to your stuff. we love you Gary it's amazing one day you see this anyway we hope, we hope. We hope whatever uh, at the end of the day uh, you have to understand guys that marketing today a lot of you are doing marketing as what someone tells you. And that marketing that someone tells you, it, it, those people already made money. You go to so-and-so for this course. How much money did they make? I, I showed a master Shane was in the group. He could tell you honestly. I told them I was in a meeting about 11 years ago, and I said, I unlocked how to get on the internet on front page within 35 minutes. But to train the students to get that way, a lot of students made money. And to keep it that way is a different lesson. But they never stayed to learn the rest, so they lost the path. Hmm. So I said to Master Shane, I said, Master Shane, this is going to get out there, man. You got a number one thing. You could teach this. And we, we decided not to. We just watched and observed for 11 years. So when it comes to marketing, you, you get our consulting and you understand that um, it's not that we're predicting. It's just that you have to understand that so what? So-and-so says this. So what? In New York, the bodegas, there's one on every corner, sometimes three in one block. They're all making money. They know the community. Not everybody's gonna like you. Next rule, doesn't matter. They serve the community. So 
the next thing is to look at what do you consider bad? Forget about it. And for, Can you forget about it? For all you women out there, and you're picking a man because he drives this car or got these rims or walking around with a chain around his neck. Or looks that way. Come on. Is that really what love is? It could be if you have a construct. That is. If you attract that and you like that and you want that, then that's okay. But is that what true love is? But the ones that are rapping... You get a lot of people giving them bad rap because they're rapping, but they're expressing and they're changing kids' lives. You got two different raps. Right. Bad rap and the rap rap. Right. Rapidly rap rap. <laughs> rap rap rap. Rap rap a ran. Life's right. a rap. But we're about to wrap it up. And uh, later on, you'll get a mess change video. We love you guys. Take care. Again, this isn't finished yet. You're going to see more of the process and the trees. And this is also fire going while the painting's happening in front. So you can, the heat, there's heat added. So we got the fire, the water here in the air and the trees and the galaxies behind. Again, you can see where this original painting is for sale. If you see this, you know, feel the healing. And then the real healing is the real masterpiece. So with inside, you'll be able to find that. Also, the print is going to be available too. So look out for that. And the print's gonna be something very special where it's like a double painting, where it's gonna be side by side, the elements as when we're figuring out what the name for this is, it's gonna reveal itself to us. Take care and may you be well. Your healing energy for and for your healing energy.